Well, everyone, it definitely is an interesting time. We literally just got the new iPhones and I haven't even paid these things off yet on my credit card bill. And we are already getting iPhone 12 leaks, the new iPhone that's about to come out in next year. Well, it's less than a year now, so I guess it's kind of good news. But Ming Chi Ko, the greatest man alive, okay? He has reportedly said some things which I also agree with, but I also disagree with one of the points, but I find the iPhone 12s to be super fascinating. And these are the things that we've been waiting for. Now, these are the iPhone 11s and 11 Pros and Pros Maxes, but we knew that even before this phone, that the 2020 iPhones were going to be a huge refresh. It's going to be a pretty different design. Now, I think the overall format's still going to be the same, the triple camera setup on the back. The backs, I think, are going to look the same. But the thing that I disagree with Ming Chi Ko is the price. He's apparently saying that the iPhones will have a bigger price or higher prices. I personally don't see that. I think Apple is going to stick with their pricing structure right now. I think they're going to stick with the whatever $699 for the 11, the 11 Pro at $999. Maybe the 11 Pro Max might go up in price. Maybe it'll go up to like $1149 or something. Maybe. But that's like a huge if. I don't really think that. I think they're going to stick with the same pricing structure. They really, really are overpricing these specific phones. The 11, I think, is a good price. These two phones are way overpriced for what they are. And if they go any way above that, like, that'll be a slap in the face. They're still going to dominate. They're still going to sell a lot. But that's the only thing I disagree with. But the coolest thing that Ming-Chi Ko said is that the redesign could potentially mean that Apple would use the same type of design as the iPhone 4. So the flat edges on the sides, pretty much the same design as the iPad Pro as well. At least the 28. 18 version so it'd be like the flat edges and everything it would be flat up here flat up there everywhere which begs the question wouldn't it just look like an iphone se in my opinion meaning the iphone se 2 the design that i've been rendering for like five months over a year now don't you think that that would look like this in a way i mean i'm not trying to take credit or anything but i knew that design was going to come at some point and bro i'm telling you right now if he said it ming chi ko is kind of saying it i mean like i said bro look i have an iphone 4 right here 4 or 4s whatever the same design and an iphone se the flat edges are the same okay so it's the flat on the sides the iphone 4 is just a little bit thicker but i think this design i'm not saying it's going to be in the same body size shape as this but the design is you know obviously the same so that's one of the main things he pointed at now now of course there's going to be a faster processor the a14 whatever and also better cameras but i don't think really anybody cares about those things anymore the cameras i think people care more about than anything else i'm already pretty surprised by how scratched up my camera lenses are i don't know if you can tell i haven't even had these things for a week it's barely even been like it's like been like five days and my camera lenses are already scratched up that's crazy the iphone 12s will also support 5g so that'll be really awesome here's another thing that I don't agree with, but I also could see them doing the screen sizes apparently could potentially be different. So that means the 6.5 inch display that we have on the iPhone XS or iPhone Pro Max. Some people are saying that it could go up to 6.7 inches. Now it could potentially be that case if they remove the leftover bezel that's all around this display and remove the notch as well. Maybe, but I don't see how the notch would increase the screen size because they measure it this way. But if they decrease that bezel, maybe it could go up another 0.2 inches. But I honestly don't see that happening. I think they're going to stick with this side screen and I hope they do. I hope they don't go any bigger. Some people might say otherwise, but I feel like this is a huge phone. It's super big for me to even use. Even though I own this phone, I own the XS Max too. I don't use those. I use the iPhone 10. So maybe if they shrink the bezel, if they keep it in the same size, then that would be amazing. But if they have to go and make a brand new design phone and increase the size of it, I don't think Apple would do that. Unless they would increase this size to 6 inches, then that would be something. Then they would have to put this up to 6.7 inches to kind of match market because a lot of the market phones in the market actually are around 6 inches on a display, kind of like on the iPhone 11 Pro, so... Also, people are stating that the notch could be removed. I hope so. There's probably a more chance that they will shrink it before they actually remove it. So it could mean that they could have a teardrop type of design that could potentially be kind of like what we saw on the OnePlus 6T and the OnePlus 7. I really hope they do something like that. That would be awesome. But ultimately, that's kind of our first look at the iPhone 12. Obviously, nothing official, nothing too crazy, but... I think Apple will probably knock that one out of the park more than this one. Obviously, this is a crazy designed phone. I really, really like it. But if Apple can just knock out the iPhone 12, I think they could definitely have a huge success on their hands, which means I have to go and start investing in Apple as a company <laughs> and start buying their stocks hopefully soon. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Again, I forgot to say this. I keep forgetting to say this. So I'll have to put in that video in the beginning. I'm doing an iPhone XR giveaway. I'm giving one of those away to you guys. If you want to enter, click that second link down in the description description it'll take you to a video watch that video it's all the ways to enter 
So make sure you guys do that. Do not forget, that'd be awesome. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think though. Do you think the iPhone 12 is going to be a crazy redesign or do you think it's going to be a normal kind of bland update? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe button, you guys already know, hit that as well. Links in the description. Make sure you guys check those out. Twitter, Instagram, second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them. Thank you.